Concept 26, Slope Intercept Form. Okay, first thing you need to have written on your note sheet is this equation right here. Y equals mx plus b. m stands for your slope, while b stands for your y-intercept. So we can write an equation in this form if we're given a graph, or a point and slope, or just two points. So we're going to learn how to do each of those things in this video. Okay, first of all, given a graph. So here's our graph, and first thing I need you to do is write down y equals mx plus b. So we are going to replace m, and we're going to replace b with numbers we find from the graph. First of all, our slope. In order to find slope on a graph, you need to start at one point and find how many you rise and run to get to the next point. So let's see, rise. We rise one, two, so I have two over, and we run one, two, three, four, five. Two over five. And now I'm going to look at my line. I notice that it's going up, so it's a positive line. So I know I'm going to replace m with two fifths. And last, we're going to look at what our b is, our y-intercept. Well, this graph isn't the best, but we're going to say it's right there at, um, we'll say it's close to 1. Every graph that we give you will, will be a better y-intercept, so we're just going to call this one 1 for now. I didn't look very closely at my graph before I put it on there. So, your final answer is y equals 2 fifths x plus 1. All right, now we're going to find the equation of a line given the slope and a point. So we don't need the graph for this. We can do it with just a slope and a point. So first thing we're going to do, like always, we're going to write down y equals mx plus b. We know what to plug in for our m, since our problem tells us that our slope is negative 5. Now we have to find b. We don't know what b is without the graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this point that we were given we're going to plug in negative 4 for our x value and 7 for our y value. Every point is x comma y, so that's why I'm plugging negative 4 in for x and 7 in for y. So if I plug 7 in for y, I'm going to plug negative 5 in for m because that's what my slope is. Now, I have to think, what is this operation between the m and the x? Well, it's multiply. Anytime there's no um, symbol in between them, you know that to multiply. So I'm going to put my x in here, which is negative 4, and put plus b. I don't know what b is, so I need to just put plus b at the end. Now I'm going to solve this for b, and it is always going to be the exact same steps. We're going to multiply these two together, so we get a positive 20, and then we will subtract this over minus 20. So b equals negative 13. My last step is to replace my m and my b with my slope and my y-intercept. So I get y equals negative 5x minus 13. That's the equation of my line. Okay, let's do the same thing again. We're going to start by writing y equals mx plus b. For my m, I'm going to plug in 4 because the problem says that I have a slope of 4. For my x, I will plug in 6, and for my y, I'll plug in negative 6. Again, I plugged the 6 and negative 6 in to x and y because coordinate points are always x comma y, so the positive 6 goes in for x, and the negative 6 goes in for y. And once again, I have my b left here. I don't know what it is. So there's, I don't have a number I can plug in for it yet. So now we're going to multiply our 4 and our 6 in the middle. And then subtract it over because it is positive. Okay, so I can write my final answer, y equals 4x minus 30. So I put my m in there and my b in there. Make sure you always write your final answer as an equation. Okay, so now this type of problem looks a little bit different. I'm not given my slope, but I am given two points. So the first thing I have to find in this case is my slope. From concept 23, you should recall your slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 
over x2 minus x1. So if you need to, go ahead and label these. Okay, so y2 is negative 1, y1 is 5, x2 is 2, and x1 is negative 1. Make sure you get minus a negative right there. Now, if you didn't get 3 for 2 minus 1, you're going to want to use your calculator for that because a minus and a negative become positive right there and make a positive 3. So our final slope is negative 2 if we simplify our fraction. So now I have my slope and I need to find my y-intercept. So second step, we're going to find b. Earlier, I had one point in a slope, but now I have two points in a slope. That just means I get to pick my favorite of the two points. So I'm going to pick to use the first point, but you can definitely use the second point. And my slope is negative 2. So now I'm going to do just like I did in the last problem. Start with my equation. So I'm going to plug 5 in for y, negative 2 in for m, negative 1 in for x, and put plus b. To simplify, I'm going to multiply my negative 2 and my negative 1, get a positive 2, and then subtract my 2 over. I get b equals 3. Don't forget to write your final answer. y equals negative 2x plus 3. Remember, m always goes in with the x, and b always goes at the end. Okay, let's try another problem like that. First step is to find your slope. So here, our y2 is 4, y1 is negative 2, so minus and negative 2. Our x1 is negative 5. I'm sorry, x2 is negative 5, and our x1 is 1. So we get 6 over negative 6, which simplifies to negative 1. So for part 2, we're finding our b. And again, we get to pick our favorite point. This time I'll pick the second point. Whichever point you use will give you the same answer as if you had picked the other point. So in this situation, I always write down y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to plug negative 1 in for m. I'm going to plug the negative 5 in for x and the 4 in for y. Now remember, solving is always the exact same way. I multiply my negative 1 and my negative 5. And then I add or subtract over this number. Since the 5 was positive, I'm going to subtract it over. So now I have my m and my b, they happen to be the same thing, and I can write my final answer. So your answer can either look like this, or I could have just put negative x instead of negative 1x. Okay, pause the video and try this one on your own, and then speed ahead to find my answer. Okay, there's your final answer.